repent. God is angry with the wicked every day. Every day God is angry with the wicked. God hates all workers of iniquity. He's telling you today to repent, to obey. You must be on fire. Be on fire. For the Lord. Love the Lord today, folks. You are created for Him and His glory. You want to glorify God. He is a jealous God. He doesn't accept nothing less than His obedience and your obedience to Him. He is holy. In God there is no darkness at all. Only light. You must get the darkness out of your life today, folks. Get that willful sin out of your life today. Today is the day of salvation, folks. Today. Not tomorrow. in the world today, folks. Whether you believe or not, do you see anybody glorifying God? Are you? You know, if we turned our life to God, He would heal our lands. He would heal our lands if we turn from our wicked ways and called to Him. But I'm crying out to you, individually. You, give your life to God. And then go share the gospel. But you don't have to do it like me. But God says, don't hide that lamp under a bushel. So I'm going to let my light shine, and it's Jesus Christ, the righteous and holy one who laid his life down for you and me. And so I'm going to lay my life down for you because I've laid my life down for God. That's how it works. That's the thing with free will. Free will brought sin into this world, rebellion against God. But God didn't want to control you. He wanted to give you the choice whether or not you wanted to believe and obey. But unfortunately, there's a place called hell for those that do not obey the gospel. For Jesus Christ will return with 10,000s of his saints to seek vengeance on all those that do not obey his gospel. So obey the gospel. It's not a feeling. It's not a, an action. If you don't feel like so, doing something, so what? It's about being obedient. Just because you don't want to be obedient doesn't mean you can't be obedient. There's a time in my life when I didn't want to obey, but I did it anyway. I did it anyway. Because love is not a feeling, it's an action. Lust is what this world has got lost up into. Lust. People want to call loving the same sex love. That's lust. Just like me, I was a fornicator. I thought I loved the girl that I was sleeping with. No, it was lust. I hated her. Just like I hated my kids' mother because I didn't marry her. 
I had children out of wedlock. But today, I obey the gospel. I don't look at women in lust. As a matter of fact, I'd rather not even have that relationship in my life. I would rather just serve the Lord, and I've been doing that. And I can do it tomorrow, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day. Why? Because I have a free will, and I can freely choose. And no temptation can overcome you, because God gives you a way out every time. Every time God gives you a way out, so you will have no excuses on the day of judgment. And for those of you who do not like what I'm preaching, well, the Bible says that the gospel is foolishness to those who are perishing. And I don't want you to perish. And I know that it takes time after a seed is planted, but seeds are being planted today, folks. Let them take root. Let them take root. And then let it grow. And let it grow until you become a full tree that bears fruit as I am doing this day. Because God is the vine. Jesus is the vine. And I want to produce 